Oh, like, smack it like you like it. Wait, first subscribe. <coughs> hit that subscription subscribe button. And then smack it like you like it. Smack that like you like it. And then hit it again for notifications so you can be notified for our next upcoming video. And hopefully it You can't talk. I made you speechless. <laughs> I made her speechless. Can you believe it? With a strawberry. Oh, hell no. Oh. Hi, Love Birds. Hey, Love Birds. And welcome back to another episode of Love Birds Life. Right. And today we are having our, well, we're celebrating our, feast. our Mother's Day. Mother's, Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day feast. We're having a Mother's Day brunch. And we would like to, first of all, Give a shout out to one of our very, very favorite subscribers. She is just so supportive. She's been so supportive to so sweet. not only to us, but yes, she's so sweet. Not only to us, but to many other creators out there. And we just love her and we want to say thank you for all your support. We love you so much. Here's and a toast to you. Here's a toast to you. Happy Mother's Day. We hope it's a wonderful one. Oh, I didn't say your name. Oh, I'm sorry. Here's a toast to Aunt Dar. Aunt Dar, to you. Here's to you, Aunt Happy Dar. Happy Mother's Day. We hope you're having a wonderful Mother's Day and you're being spoiled by your family, and we love you, and thank you so, so, so much for all your support. We love you. Now, it's time to eat. So today, we are eating, you wanna tell them what we're eating? We're eating omelets with spinach, spinach. sausage, but I have bacon and sausage in mine, extra pork. And I just have sausage oh. and spinach and eggs in mine. With Topped with cheese, cheddar cheese, and then we have a lots of cheese. Let me make sure I get it the right way. We have Disney princess. Uh, Disney, Disney, uh, Disney princess, princess, princess for the mothers. waffles that my baby Katie made. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a whole bunch of bacon. More bacon. More bacon. More bacon. More bacon. And then we have a tray full of fruit, pineapples. And melons. melons and grapes. And we have cream cheese and strawberry, strawberry cream muffins. cheese muffins. Oh yeah. my goodness. Mm -hmm. And then we have last but not croissant. Oh no. Not. And then we have some. Oh, we have our grapes. Bigger grapes, much bigger grapes. And then, for the beautiful queen, my wife, chocolate covered strawberries. Yes, I will be feeding them to her later. <laughs> but that's behind the scenes. And then we also have. Oh, we have our. Parfait is a Greek. A Greek yogurt. Yogurt, mine is blueberry. And mine is peach. And then we're toasting with mimosa. With mimosa. Cheers, everybody. With further ado, as I favorite like to say, let's get it. Let's eat. <laughs> oh. We're going to start off with our omelets before they get cold. <laughs> How is it? Smack it like a good. Mm, good. Mm. Make sure you come, put your hand behind it because the light is, you're not going to see nothing but white. There we go. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Thumbnail. Oh, we'll figure one out. <laughs> mm. <laughs> She's leaving me hanging. <laughs> mm -hmm. And also, we want to give a shout out to the C Squad for 
Just keep it there till you're hitting. There we go. <clears throat> to the C Squad mm. for coming up, for getting us all together to do this for Aunt Dar. Shout out to C Squad. C Squad. Cheers. Here's to you. I think they got like 17 of us. Mm -hmm. Or more. Or more. We don't know. Look at that brown piece of bacon. Perfectly cooked. They can't see. They can't. I'm trying to light washes everything. Else. There we go. Mmm. 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 Hope your hands aren't dirty. Because <laughs> they will talk about you. Talk about like, me. Let me see your hands. Oh, yeah, God. <laughs> okay, and they also well, have, um, we have 10 questions about your mom that we will be answering tonight today we are oh we're going to show you guys pictures of our our moms and me and my mommy my mom my beautiful mommy mm -hmm. <laughs> Hold on, I'll get mine up in a minute. <laughs> you smack it. <laughs> and there's my mom. Let me see her. I hope you guys can see her. Hope the light's not washing her out. There we go. There. That's my mommy. Cancer took my mommy, um, 2009. So, Ten years ago. you know, what we'll be talking about today will be you know, mainly memories. It's been 10 years since she's been gone. So, you guys, cherish your mothers. Cherish your moms. And if you live away from your mother, call her. I think we have these things called cell phones. Unlimited text. A minute. This day and age, there's no reason for you not to not be, stay, in, stay touch. in touch. No reason aside from you just don't want to. <laughs> there should never be a reason. Gave birth to you. But I Some call people my don't mom. Have good relationship with their mother. I call my mom every other weekend because they do live farther away from us. And so. We don't get the opportunity to go out and spend the time no. like we live no. in the same city and right around the corner. But I cherish every moment I get when I talk to her. So. Now when my mother was here, we stayed over at her house. Every weekend. <laughs> Kid, you bring the crab legs with the girls <laughs> every weekend. Mm -hmm. Call me Kim. You guys coming over this weekend? I always just feel so much better when you guys are here. <laughs> and barbecue. Oh yeah. Wait, barbecue. You know. Or we go every pick them up. Go pick them up. Bring them out here. Respect our seats. Mm-hmm. They have a lot of seeds in them. <laughs> You're gonna pick up seedless grapes? I feel seedless. They're not busy. Mm. 
You can swallow them. They're not gonna grow. I might grow inside of me. I think I feel fine here. I'm sorry, folks. I'm just picking it up eating with my hands. Mm. Like the barbarian he is. Mm -hmm. All that cheese in my omelet. I don't know if you guys can see it. Move your head out the way there. Like duck behind my hand. It's not working. <laughs> anyway. Anyhow. Lots of cheese. It's so cheesy. Man. So before I was interrupted, we're going to get to some of these questions. <laughs> but before that, I'd like to have a refill, please. <laughs> these omelets are huge. <laughs> Pre-made ours. You guys saw the picture in the beginning. These omelets are huge. And we pre-made our drink because we knew in these little glasses we would be um, refilling most <laughs> abruptly because they are so good. Centered. Yeah, we're not showing any. Hey. <laughs> and you were looking at me. <laughs> you put mine to shame. That's a challenge. Are you challenging me? Cheers, <laughs> <laughs> baby. Cheers, my love. Thank you for bearing my children. You're welcome. All four of them. Mm -hmm. Life wouldn't be the same without them. No, it wouldn't. I wouldn't give it up for the world. Nope. Not for anything in this world. Motherhood. Wouldn't give it up for the world. Okay. Question number one. Questions about our moms. When was the last time you saw your mom? <laughs> July 9th, 2009. In the hospital. When was the last time you saw your mom? <clears throat> Two years ago. At I, our uh, vow renewal. We're about 25th vow renewal. Our 25 year mm -hmm. anniversary vow renewal. Where is the last place you and your mom went on vacation together? Um, a child. <laughs> I left home at 18. We didn't go on a lot of vacations. Parents had five boys. I was in the middle of the five. And That's why we make sure we do a lot. Our parents would go places. I mean, we'd go yeah, up to see we? our grandma. Grandpa, we were older. I mean, they take us up to our grandparents. But your parents never want to go anywhere with us. Not really. <laughs> so, you know, we Even try to do vacation with them, but. <laughs> Even today. Um, the last place I went, we vacationed with my mom was we took her to Florida. Oh, to Orlando, and we went to Universal Studios, <laughs> and we went to. Um, SeaWorld. Mm -hmm. I still have the videos and 
pictures from that those days. We went out and bought a barbecue fun. pit thing. We get barbecue because we had the top floor. Oh, we bought a hibachi. A bachi. They, let us. they couldn't let us use it, so we took the toaster oven. <laughs> We're and improvisers. grilled our pork steaks. <laughs> We're improvisers. Uh -huh. Okay. <clears throat> what is your mom's favorite food? Shrimp. I remember <laughs> going and while I was working as a kid, part time at a store. To the summer, my mom picked me up, take me to A and W, and they'd have shrimp day. As much as you can eat shrimp, and she'd come and meet me up there at my lunch break, and we'd tear up some shrimp. Mm -hmm. My mom's favorite food was crab legs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go figure. Ooh, up to the day she died, she loved her some crab legs. And uh, I, I'm carrying on the tradition every now and then, like on her birthday, I'll sit with me and my, my well, now only one daughter that's at home still, but we'll go and we'll watch Lifetime because that's what me and my mom used to do. We'd like, we'd watch Lifetime and we'll, we'd have some crab legs and just be cracking and watching TV. <laughs> cracking them crab legs. She loved crab legs. All oh, and shrimp, and shrimp. And shrimp. All four of them being there cracking. She loved crab legs mm. and shrimp. Just loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Where's your mom's favorite? Wait, where's your mom's favorite place to shop? I don't think my mom had a favorite place to no. shop. I really don't. I don't think she had a favorite place to shop. She had five boys. <laughs> Little Horrocks. That's with hers. What? Horrocks. It's, it's in the state she lives in, and it's a place where you can buy food and also your like country stuff, plants, and other things. I remember as a kid, my mom used to always like to, my mom used to get the big Sears books, and they you get the stamps, and you fill in the stamps for, you know, to get a certain item. Man, I used to try to fill those, stamp those, those books up. That was fun. I don't think we ever did, but my mom would do it and we'd, we'd help her try to fill them up, fill up them stamp books, some Sears catalogs. I think you're telling your age. <laughs> I don't care. I look good for my age. <laughs> I was say you did. <laughs> Fine as one. Yeah, but I don't think she had a favorite place that she liked to shop at. She just liked to shop. <laughs> okay, what type of music does your mom like? <laughs> Why are you <laughs> hunt, hunt? <laughs> Hey, she kicking her boots up. Blue, you're, you're, you're boot like scooter. Blue, bluegrass? Boot scooter. <laughs> right there, country music. <laughs> Go square dancing. My mom loved R and B. She loved her some Motown and some R and B. She said she be cooking and playing her R and B and her Motown. I forgot. And we'd be sitting there dancing and cooking with her. Mine's gone. Yeah, she loved her. She loved her Motown. She'd be in the kitchen cooking, and me and my sisters. Be in there helping her and she'd be dancing and she'd have her little drinky drink. <laughs> Those are some good times. It's like all of us girls in the kitchen with mom helping her get dinner together, especially around the holidays. So much fun. Good memories. What are three things your mom would never... Oh, I gotta go to the next page. Okay. Is that the right one? Okay, yeah. What are three things your mom would never want you as her child to do? Go ahead. You go first. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. What are three things your mom would never want you as her child to do? 
right down the street, the hill, which was the street, our bikes. Those cars would come up and down it. Three things. That's one. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I think in general, most moms would never want their, their kids to be in harm's way. Would never want their kids to be struggling. And would never want their kids to... Be unhappy. Be unhappy. I agree with that one. Yeah, yeah. Three, oh, by the way, there's 10 questions. Number seven. Okay. So, question number seven. What are three things that make your mom happy? <clears throat> I guess mine will be passed since I made my mom happy. Calling her. Hearing her, say, hearing her hear me say I love her. And that the kids are doing good, grandkids. Mine's would be the three things I think made her happy was having her family together, having her family around her, and that includes all her 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 siblings. She really enjoyed being around her family, um, having her her daughters be around her. Eating crab legs <laughs> and um, and being being with her grandchildren. She loved her grandchildren. I mean, who would, who doesn't love her grandchildren? But yeah, she she really loved doing things with her grandchildren. She would take um, my daughters and my niece's daughter and have a weekend have them come over <laughs> and have a little sleepover and they bake cakes and watch scary movies and watch scary have movies. my kids watching scary movies <laughs> at a young age if your mom called with the conversation last one minute or one hour this is question number eight it doesn't last one minute it doesn't last an hour but it would not last just a minute yeah Way past an hour. For you. <laughs> my mom yeah, my mom and I would talk for hours on the phone. But if you know me, everybody knows me though. But I'm she I get it from her. I got it honestly. When I get on the phone to me, you better just hang up because <laughs> I'll say bye about twenty times. <laughs> okay, I counted I'll let them. You go. I'll I counted let you them. <laughs> She'd be on the phone with her sisters. Bye. Oh, did you hear about the, 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 Oh, did you hear? Oh, um, my God, my fingers are... Oh, how's the babies? How's the babies? I ran out of fingers. Started using toes. Oh, okay. Question number nine. One more. What was the last thing you cooked for your mom? I can honestly say I don't remember. Last I, night? I mean, they came over... For, I mean, when she when she started getting sick, you know, too sick, I'd always cook for them and take food over to them, take meals, whatever I cooked, I I took it to them. <laughs> so they had whatever I cooked, and I can't remember what that was. <laughs> Do you remember what the last meal you cooked for your mother? Well, we cooked. Oh. <laughs> for we, the wedding vow renewal. <laughs> we kicked all the food for the wedding vow renewal. Yeah. We did it all. Got an Airbnb and cooked it all. Mm -hmm. What did you get your mom for Mother's Day this year? Food. <laughs> we bought it. We got a gift card. We got a gift card to a favorite place she likes to eat. So, because my parents are retired. Yeah, and they don't. So my mom doesn't cook a lot anymore. So we get a gift card for to go to her favorite place and enjoy it so she can sit down and relax and not have to worry about cooking in the kitchen. Because my dad, she won't let my dad cook. He burns. 
He literally likes his toast burnt. Not burnt. Burn! He goes Black to the restaurant, burn. he tells him. Charcoal burn. Burn the toast. Now, you know, I get it. Because when I was younger, mm -mm. I used to, I don't know if anybody else used to do this, but we used to make um sugar toast. <laughs> and you put the, the butter on there, you put the sugar, and you put the cinnamon on there, and you put it in the oven and toast it. And it'd be all, you know, the darker, the better. It was so good. It was like candy toast. <laughs> Never did it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. This is Greek yogurt too, by the way. Are you guys surprised I don't have any seafood in this? I, I know, right? Mm. <laughs> Whatever, Kevin, whatever. <sighs> you refilling? I will definitely take a refill. I sure will. Wait, fall? I'm getting there and I didn't even, I didn't even get any of my pancakes. It's a lot of food, you guys. This, this omelet was huge and I, you yeah. know, oh, it's very filling. But I had a little bit of everything, except I haven't had a muffin yet. But you guys, I'm sorry, but I got to let some of this digest before I can eat it all. It's Food come with toast. This gonna be dinner. <laughs> oh. I will be finishing this off for dinner. Mm -hmm. Maple bacon. Maple bacon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love maple bacon. Oh yeah. This is homemade. Maple bacon. <laughs> Are you saying, oh, because you're dipping it in the syrup? Yep. <laughs> uh, pretty. Ooh. Pretty. Now. Mmm. Blueberries. I'm just go picking blueberries when I was a child. Mm -hmm. I go it. Mm -hmm. Some syrup. Mm -mm. Once yeah. you once you take some, you will always be back for more. Good crispy salty bacon. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. For all you bacon eaters out there. <laughs> More bacon. Mm -hmm. Bacon. Mm. The flowers in the background, guys, are my Mother's Day flowers. My kiddos bought me. I, I told them, don't buy me. If they're going to buy flowers, buy me something that I can enjoy for most of the season. Buy me a plant. Because <laughs> I used to buy roses all the time. You're always spending your money, wasting because they dry up. For me, that's a waste of money because they die. Because they die. <laughs> So I buy them once a week. <laughs> yep. What's your favorite thing for you to get for Mother's Day from your kids? You moms out there. 
Mine is. I love for my kids to make me things. I don't want them to buy it or anything. I just, especially when they were little. Oh, I wish I could show you guys pictures. I might be able to put a few pictures in. Right here. Those are pictures of Mother's Day pass. Every year, my kids would make me a crown. So they go out into the garden. They pick flowers, and they make they make me a, a Mother's Day crown out of the flowers that they picked. It was so cute. Or they'd color. They'd make you know make a crown and color it in and everything. And I, I would always tell them, just make me a card. And so. Of course, every mom has homemade cards from their kids. Those, to me, are the the most significant gift a kid could ever give their their parents. Because <coughs> it's from the heart. It's not someone else's thoughts. It's not someone else's work of art. It's theirs. It came from their mind, their heart. So, yeah, all that monetary stuff. I don't really, I don't really care about. He, he's lucky. He has a, a very low maintenance wife. I don't get my don't have to get my nails done every week and my toes and my hair. I'm not into all that. She's into crab legs. <laughs> Just give me crab legs. <laughs> and monster shrimp. And take me somewhere. I wanna go and travel. I wanna do things. I don't wanna be spending my money that I can use traveling or doing things experiencing things and that's why I, on work, why I work nail polish on toenails getting polish that are covered up half the time to me that's not that's not important yeah so can i feed you a strawberry now you certainly can Which one am i slurring my words i don't know <laughs> which one do you want Oh, whichever one you want to feed me. This one looks yeah, I was, I was thinking the same thing. We, we always think the same. Don't you get it in the syrup now. Man! Okay, wait. Still have some bacon. Oh, it's okay. Bacon and strawberries. I've never tasted it. I'm going to taste it now. Hold on. <laughs> Here it goes. See, ah. Uh, Come on. <laughs> The chocolate fell off. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good. I feel you looking at it like you want to bite it. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's yours. Mm -hmm. Just don't it's bite good. my don't bite my fingers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm looking at it like I'm ready. You're ready. Well, huh? You're not ready. <laughs> I love you for being the wife, mother of my children. Mm -hmm. Happy Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. You can't talk. I made you speechless. <laughs> <laughs> I made her speechless. Can you believe it? With a strawberry. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> I married a character. I love her to death. Mm -hmm. I love him to death. I wouldn't trade him. Don't forget to like, smack that notification bell. No, you smack it like you like it. Wait, first subscribe. <coughs> Hit that subscription subscribe button. And then smack it like you like it. Smack that like you like it. And then hit it again for notifications so you can be notified for our next upcoming video. And hopefully you'll be back. We love it when you guys come in and take yeah. a visit. And we watch us you guys. eat. Because we like to eat. We like to get our grub. Oh, get it, oh, we eat. Oh, Let's oh, get it, we eat. Mm -hmm. Let's get it. Well, let's see. I'm looking at that muffin. You want it? I want it. <coughs> mm -hmm. You want to take us out? Oh, you got me too. Oh, yeah.
does not look good. My favorite muffins. <sighs> I used to buy them at the gas stations on the way to work all the time. Not those. But these are so big. Oh my god. Mm, so. Mmm. So, Dang. Mm. I am gonna warm mine up. Mm. You know, I like I like I anybody else have to have their muffins warmed up. It's too Is much that camera time. just on you? I don't think I'm in the You're in it. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. Mm. And Dar, we love you so much. And we think we we're so grateful for you and appreciate you so much. Thank you for being a part of our life, taking time out of your schedule to watch our videos. Being part of ours. <laughs> and one day we're gonna meet you because I owe you five dollars. <laughs> because we're known to surprise people. My sisters, for Mother's Day weekend, they had um, they made reservations. They're they're in California. They made reservations for all of us, including they include including myself. And I told them, I said, well, my husband said, hell to the no no no. Hell no. Because you know he had plans so. So I was talking to my sister this morning. She's like, we kept your reservation because we know you good for just popping in on folks. <laughs> yes, I've done it. I've done it. I guarantee you're not doing it tomorrow. I won't be doing it. No, I would have to be there right now. Mm-hmm. Your kids would be mad at you. They would. They wouldn't have to get up and make breakfast. <laughs> I know. I would miss all that. Mm -hmm. I don't like being away from my family on my on holidays from you guys. On special no, days. You guys. Special days. Mm -hmm. I'm really enjoying myself. I feel this rub on the back of my elbow. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> Get a little closer. You're a hot, hot mess, man. You're a hot mess. Love birds alive. Don't worry, guys. All this food will get eaten. <laughs> One way or another. We have, you know, you guys know, seeing our son. And then my oldest, my my younger son, he's gonna be over, so it will get taken care of. Isn't that right, Cody? <laughs> if you're watching. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I've had understand. a little bit of everything. I have a little bit of everything except for the muffin. You want a muffin? And I was I'm I keep looking at the croissants because I'm